Hey, Mike Callahan, want to make a quick video. Um, we may have just seen our first Black Swan event of 2018. The Black Swan event is basically an event that deviates beyond what is normally expected of a situation. It's extremely difficult to predict. Um, this event was the labor cap of H2B. Jonathan Toshnak, the lawn care bill millionaire, co-founder of Service Autopilot in SA Force Conference, predicted and talked about how to deal with these Black Swan events. And if we're proactively ready to jump in when these events happen, we could capitalize on a downturn or an unexpected thing going on in our market and be able to basically go out and crush our competition. Well, the black swan event that I possibly see on the horizon right now is the H2B cap. Uh, round numbers here, we have a cap around 33,000 H2B workers and we have about 4,500 companies requesting around 80 to 82,000 uh, workers. So obviously it's well beyond the cap. So this black swan event is how are you going to proactively be ready to go out and recruit, interview, train, and onboard rockstar employees outside of the H2B visa program. A lot of companies are highly um, leveraged on this program. So we have a little time before April, um, maybe in February and March in the southern states before this is going to become a real thing and it's unexpected. Um, so this is kind of the, the preview of something that could happen, this black swan event. Uh, what I recommend as a solution is go out and constantly start interviewing for each and every position in your company, create a labor pool, start stacking the bench, get people on the bench that are ready to hop on the field if your A-star players from the H2B program do not come. Um, so my video of the day is if this black swan event happens, Jonathan Potoshnak, uh, Lawn Care Millionaire predicted something like this was coming down the pipeline. This may be the event that's coming down sooner than expected. Most people are unaware of this, even if they're in the H2B program. So I'm here, A, to let you know this is a possibility that's going on. Uh, a lot of gray area around it, so I'm not even going to dive into it, but let, let you know that this could be an issue where uh, a lot of people aren't going to get these seasonal workers that they need and depend on. So my advice is go out proactively, recruit, and get ready for the season now instead of it's too late and go out and build an org chart. Start looking at those positions that um, may need to be filled. Don't put names on them, but list all the criteria that you need. So as you're going out to interview and you're starting to stack that bench, building that glorified labor pool, um, we know what we're looking for. Because if we're looking for something when we need it, it's too late. But if we can go proactively out right now and go out and recruit, and train, and onboard um, these rockstar employees with the skill sets that we list on this org chart well before uh, we need them, I think we'll be in good shape. So uh, don't get caught with your pants down. Go out there, start recruiting for these positions. Any comments or questions are below, but um, if you didn't go to SA4, you missed out on an amazing talk by Jonathan. He predicted one of these black swan events. In my opinion, uh, this could be one of the first big ones of uh, 2018. So if you want the ability to go out and crush your competition, if they're relying on H2B, um, help. This is a great opportunity to go out and uh, own your market. And if, if you're the guy heavily relying on H2B and your competitors aren't, um, this is something we need to get ahead of now before it's too late. So, um, your competition's not coming and swooping in and taking your business and dominating your, your market. So any comments or questions drop below, but hopefully, uh, this helps in, uh, SA five. Can't wait to see what Jonathan's talking about or in San Diego, our free user group coming up, um, end of January, beginning of February with Jonathan Petoshnak, myself, Scott Howard and Chris Volpe will be going over upselling and how to build automations around it. So look forward to seeing everybody there as well.